Hey, it's Shannon McMahon here with Smarter Travel, and in this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about renewing your passport, global entry, and TSA PreCheck membership. Remember that some destinations require six months validity on your passport in order to enter the country. So when renewing your passport, timing is key. According to the U.S. State Department, the best time to apply for or renew a passport is between September and the end of December. And if you plan to travel with children, remember that children's passports are only valid for five years, while adult passports are valid for 10. A primary concern for many heading into 2020 is the October deadline for the Real ID Act. The Real ID Act In other words, the Real ID Act is changing the way we fly domestically to require a Real ID or two valid forms of identification to get past airport security. But don't panic. First, find out if you live in a state where current driver's licenses don't meet the new criteria. And no matter what, go out and get your Real ID as soon as your state offers them to continue flying domestically with ease after the October 1st, 2020 deadline. Renewing your passport can usually be done by mail. All you have to do is fill out an application, pay the processing fee, and mail in the correct materials, including your old passport. For an extra $60, you have the option to expedite your renewal to avoid the typical six to eight week wait. Or, in a real emergency, you can receive your passport within 24 hours with options such as Rush My Passport, a service partnered with FedEx. Surprisingly, the step that most often causes a delay in the renewal process is submitting an unacceptable passport photo. Check out our video on how to take your own passport photo for a step-by-step -step breakdown of how to take the perfect passport picture, linked at the end of this video and down below in the description. Now that your passport is squared away, it's time to check up on the status of your global entry and TSA pre-check. Global entry wait times, usually hovering around six months, have been on the rise. Applying for renewal early, up to a year before your membership expires, is a wise choice. Your new card's expiration date will still be set five years from that of your old card, you pay the same processing fee, and you save yourself some stress as the expiration date approaches. However, if the expiration date sneaks up on you, don't worry. You can now use your old card for one year after the listed expiration date as long as you applied for renewal before your card expired. Log into your global entry account on the CVP's Trusted Traveler page, fill out the new application form, and pay the $100 fee. Some people will be flagged for an in-person interview, in which case you'll need to schedule an appointment at a global entry office to finalize your renewal. If an interview is required and you're booked on an international flight, CBP may offer you the option of doing the interview upon your return home. Otherwise, you should receive your new card in the mail at the address on file. If you have global entry, you also have TSA PreCheck, meaning the above renewal process applies for both memberships. If you have a standalone TSA PreCheck membership, there are separate steps you can take to renew your status. TSA PreCheck is valid for five years. You can apply for TSA pre-check renewal up to six months in advance of the expiration date with no penalty to the price of membership for applying early, meaning the new expiration date will still be set five years from the expiration of your previous card and the fee will remain the same. To begin the renewal process, log into the TSA pre-check renewal homepage with your known traveler number and pay the fee. You will not need to provide a new photo, but some applicants may be asked to come in and renew in person at an enrollment center or re-interview for the membership. Follow these steps and you'll be set to fly into the next decade in style. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Smarter Travel for more expert tips and vacation inspiration. Drop a comment down below and let us know your most frustrating airport experience. You know we all have them. Thanks for watching.